That one broke too. Oh my God, are they supposed to break? Recently I bought a 2012 Toyota Tundra pickup and at first I didn't see myself doing any upgrades to it. It's an older truck. I didn't want to invest a lot of money into it, but since I've started, it's become really addicting. So far we've installed the backup camera, new wheels and tires, and also a leveling kit. And in my last video, you can see the new 10 inch stereo with Apple CarPlay that I installed. Make sure to check out the channel so you can see that video. And today we're gonna to be installing some fender flares. These are pocket fender flares from Rough Country. They fit a 2007 to 2013 Toyota Tundra. If that is not your truck, make sure to check out their website. I'm sure they're gonna have flares that'll fit yours. These flares don't just look cool, they are also super simple to install. There's actually no cutting or drilling required. All right, let's see what came in the bag. Instructions, we got some alcohol prep pads, all of our hardware, and trim. So the first thing we wanna do is attach all these Allen screws to the fenders. So these are just decorative. These do not bolt into your truck. So I actually will not be installing these. I bought something a little bit different. I didn't want to go with um, with the stainless steel look. I wanted to keep it all black to match the rims. So I bought these. These were actually a separate purchase. So these will actually just pop in. I, uh, these are actually going to be a lot quicker to install because these just pop in. There's a little adhesive ring right here. So we'll have to pull that off and then just snap them in. Unlike these right here, where you're gonna have to get an out, actually it looks like a Torx bit, and tighten all these lock nuts on. So this is gonna take a long time. These I can have done in a couple minutes. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Well, there's some pros and cons with going with these clips over the bolts. The bolts are gonna be much more secure. You can see all these little tabs, almost every single one of these clips broke. That's what all these little tabs are. This is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, that one's broken too. So it's a good thing that these are adhesive back because they, if they did not have an adhesive back, they would be falling out. And it's possible they could possibly be falling out in the future. They did give me two extra though. So if one does fall out or two falls out, I'm covered. But to be safe, I wish they did have a hardware kit like this that was all black hardware. That'd be a great solution over these clips that just don't seem to work properly. All right, so next thing that's on our list, that's gonna be adding the rubber seal to all of the fenders. And we want to place the rubber seal around the fender everywhere where it's actually going to be touching the paint. You don't need to add the rubber seal on the inside of the fender, just the outside where it's touching paint. So this is how much I was left with. I was planning on doing all of these ends, but there's not going to be enough. So now that it, that is done, now we're going to do the fun part and that is going to be the installation. So let's grab these, head to the truck and get them installed. All right, so I got the fender flares in place where each one is going to be installed. But before we can install them, we need to get rid of those old mud flaps. So I got my 10 millimeter socket. We're going to get those taken off and then get these installed. All right, we are ready to start installing. So for our installation, we have some short screws, long screws, some spacers. I'm going to show you guys all the hardware that it comes with. So we're going to work on the front first. And what we need for the front is we need three clips, and it's going to be all short screws. All right, so on the front fender, we got five holes. This first hole that we're going to install, you can see this plug right here. We need to pop out that plug. And then these top three, you see one, two, three, those are going to be clips. And then the rest are going to be screws around that way. Let's 
So now that we got this pin in, and we got one screw installed down here, we want to keep this screw loose so that we can continue around. So the next thing we're going to install is going to, we're going to start putting these clips in. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so like I said, we have three clips. Your clips are going to be one, two, three. We're going to start right here in the center one. And you want to make sure that the X on there is facing out. You're going to place it, place it in the hole like that, and then it's going to go up. And hopefully you can see that there is a little screw hole right there that we're going to try to line it up with. And again, you're gonna to wanna to leave this loose until we get all the screws installed. And then we can make any adjustments that we need and then tighten them up. So let's finish up. All right, we got one down, three more to go. So the back tire is gonna be a little bit different than the front. Since we took the mud flaps out, there's little spacers that we need to put in. So I'll show you where those go and how to install it. So there's gonna be four screws that need spacers. We got one, two, three. And then there's gonna be another one on the bottom on this side. And then there's also a screw down here underneath. This one will not need a spacer. That'll just be a short screw. I hear her little feet. The first screw we wanna put in is gonna be this top one right here. That way that the fender hangs and it just makes it easier for the installation. So these three holes right here, these are gonna be the ones that need the little spacer. You don't have to get rid of your mud flaps. If you do wanna keep your mud flaps, you can. Make sure the mud flap does slide in up underneath this, and then that'll fill in the gap. On this side, this is the other screw that you're going to want to use the spacer for. I'm going to finish putting these screws in and then we're going to rinse and repeat on the other side and we're going to be all done. Man, these really turned out so well. I'm really happy with the way these look. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think I should do to the truck next. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I got a lot more content coming out. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.